Angela. Welcome to my channel, Runway Done My Way. Today's episode is all about how to combine living and dining space when they share the same room. I am also going to show you how to make small spaces appear larger. I want you guys to stay tuned to the end of the video though. I do have a lot of information to convey in a short amount of time, but at the end, I'm gonna share with you a few more tips that I'm not physically showing you, but that I am able to show you using my decor. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. This is my before, and this is my after. So once I decided on dark floors, I knew I was gonna want to do a cream off-white couch and a cream off-white shag rug. The problem was once I got the look into the floor plan, it looked really boring and drab. So I immediately had to start figuring out ways to create contrast and warmth. As you can see, using a rug that is the proper size for this couch doesn't do much for the space as far as making it look bigger than it is. What I decided to do was to layer my rugs. I got a really big jute rug and I decided to put that under the faux fur rug. This is a really good idea as well if you want to save money but you still want to have a faux fur rug but you have a really big space. Layering rugs like this is a great way to cut cost. So now as you can see the jute rug is kind of warming up the space and also making the space look bigger. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have a 9 by 12 rug, which is probably by standards too big for this space, but I want the space to look as big as possible. So I like breaking the rules a little bit and doing what I want. So I got a really, really big um, jute rug and then I put a faux fur rug on top of it. I am probably gonna be scooting the rug back a little bit more under the couch once my boyfriend gets here and he can help me because it's heavy. <laughs> um, but that's what I'm doing for now. As you can see, I will do a close up. The jute rug kind of matches my birch console. The shad rug ties into the couch. And then we have the cream from the painting. And then as you can see, the dark frame also matches the stairwell. So now I'm gonna throw some pillows on that are gonna start tying everything in together. I got my pillows at home good, so let me show you how that really starts tying the space in together. The first pillow I got is a Calvin Klein. As you can see, it's an ombre that fades from blue to cream. The second one is a basic blue-gray, which is foam-filled. If you do want your pillows to hold their structure, you wanna make sure that they're foam-filled and not down-filled. This one was an absolute score. It's foam-filled, and as you can see, it ties in the jute rug and the shag rug and the painting, so this was a must-have. And then the other two are the same as the first two. Moving on to the most luxurious faux fur blanket ever. As you can see, it has a minky backing, which makes it so soft. This completes the couch decor. So as you can see, I just kept creating contrast. So the cream couch with the cream rug alone was too bland, it was okay, you know what I mean? But I have these dark floors, so I did want to brighten them up, but it was too bland, so I added the jute rug, which is gonna go along with the console over there. We will be tackling that section later. And then I brought in some more depth with the pillows and with the blanket. Now, I am gonna add the coffee table. And I ended up going for a chrome coffee table. The reason why is because the dining section is so close and the nail head trim that is on the chairs is chrome. So as you can see, I'm kind of pulling pieces from every corner of the house and like tying them in. The chrome here, the wrought iron there, the dark wood there. Okay, you guys, a quick tip. If you are someone like me who likes to get things done on her own, you don't like to wait for your husband or your boyfriend to come home to help you lift things, so you're often pulling things across the floor. If you have a hardwood floor, make sure that you always put um, the felt bumpers underneath the feet of everything, under your chairs, under your bar stools, under your tables. That way you can preserve the life of your flooring. Just a little quick tip as I get ready to pull this across the floor myself. As you guys know, I like to keep things extremely clean. So another quick tip is with your cleaning products, you wanna use biodegradable, non-toxic cleaning products. And another thing that I have started doing to be green is 
cutting up all my towels and instead of using paper towels and paper towels and paper towels I've just been cutting up old towels and using them as rags to clean and then I just throw these in the wash All right, you guys so that is it for today Obviously, I need to figure out if I'm going to put end tables or if I'm gonna do one end table if I'm gonna do a floor lamp for either side of the couch um, hopefully some of this was helpful. If not, it was at least inspiring. As you can see, I went with a chrome coffee table, which you may think is a complete departure from what I have going on here. But because of the fact that the dining and the living room share such a close space, and the dining chairs have chrome silver nail head trims, I thought pulling the chrome into this space would be the most interesting and add that contrast that I love so much. Okay, so hopefully some of that was helpful. I will see you guys in a few days. Hope you all had an amazing week. Final tips, when combining living and dining space, you still want to define distinct spaces. As you can see, having my rug at nine by 12 clearly defines the living space from the dining space. Placing plants, table lamps, or end tables is also another easy way to define spaces that are close together. You can also paint the walls the same color so the space flows together. You will also want the same type of flooring. The use of glass tables will also help light move through the space. And last but not least, learning to layer rugs will really help when it comes to cutting cost in your home decor. I hope you enjoyed today's episode exclusively at Runway Done My Way.